Hey everyone, David from WorkOS here, and I'd love to share with you some enhancements we made to directory sync custom attributes. Let's jump right into the WorkOS dashboard and talk about them. So if we navigate to the directory sync configuration page, we see a brand new page. For those of you who aren't familiar with directory sync, one advantage of integrating with WorkOS is that we provide a unified view of a directory user that we map across multiple identity providers. At the top here, we've added an example preview of a directory user object to help you visualize what it would look like to integrate. And below, we list the standard attributes that we map out of the box. Required means you will always get these fields, and optional means that we can only sometimes map these fields. Often you will need more fields than these core attributes for your business, so we give you a way to map additional attributes through custom attributes. Scrolling down, we're introducing something we call auto-mapped attributes, which are common fields that you can now opt in to receive with a flip of a switch. We've identified some common attributes that many of our customers need and give you the option to selectively get that data without having to manually map them. WorkOS will take care of automatically picking the best source of data across all directory providers, which improves data quality and makes it easier to integrate your customers' directories. So let's enable a few attributes here. Changes here apply to all of your directories in the selective environment. Let's go ahead and enable addresses, department name, employee type, and employment start date. I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. Now, I've already set up a directory with Okta Skim, so let's go to our Okta test instance, which is here, and I'm going to provision myself to this application. Okay, so if we go back to the directory in the dashboard, I can see that I'm active. I click in and view that payload. You can see here, here are our standard attributes that we get. Raw attributes are the raw payload that we get from the provider. And then here are the custom attributes that we've selected. So we get our addresses, employment type, department name, and employment start date. But that field is null because that data does not come across in our identity provider. If we go ahead and look at webhooks, we can see that this user was updated and the payload looking very similar to the one we just saw, where the data has the standard attributes, the raw attributes from the provider, and then the custom attributes that we've enabled. All right. So if you need the capability to manually define and map attributes, you can still do that at the bottom under custom mapped attributes. So if we edit here, we can add other attributes we need. Say we need additional email. And this works as before, except the UX has changed a little bit. So that's it. Thanks for watching.